Before proceeding further in this course, let's just briefly talk about Bison data format and why MongoDB uses this format for storing data. So remember that when we insert a document in a collection in MongoDB database, that document is saved as Bison data in MongoDB. Bison is a JSON-like data format, but with more data type support. We can say that Bison is basically JSON data in binary format. Remember that Bison is not exactly JSON data. It is similar to JSON data, but it supports many other data types, which is not supported in JSON. So let's see some of the differences between JSON and Bison data. A JSON object starts and ends with a curly brace. So here you can see a JSON object. In the JSON object, we have fields. A field consists of a key and a value. A key is always going to be a string value. So it must be wrapped within double quotes. And the value for that key can be of any type. It can be a string value, as you can see here. It can be a number value. It can be a Boolean value. You can also assign another JSON object to a key. And you can also assign an array to a key. So a field consists of keys and values. Key is always going to be a string value wrapped between double quotes. And the value for that key can be a string value, Boolean value, number value, array, or nested JSON object. You can also specify null or undefined as a value for a key. So that is also possible in JSON. Also remember that when we assign a string value to a key, that also must be wrapped between double quotes or single quotes. So to specify a string value in JSON, we wrap it between single quote or double quote. But for numeric value like we have here and for Boolean value, the double quotes is not required. So basically in JSON, only those data types are supported, which is supported in JavaScript. But in Bison, we have additional data types. So when you're going to pass this JSON data to store it in a MongoDB collection as a document, there, this value will be converted to object ID. So this object ID is a data type, which is not present in JSON, but it is present in Bison. Other string values will be saved as string. Numeric values will be saved as number. Now in JSON, we have only one number data type, which is number. But in Bison, we have multiple number data types. So we can store a number as int 32. We can store a number as int 64. Or we can also store a number as decimal. So these are the number data types supported in Bison. But in JSON, it supports only one number data type, which can store all types of numbers. In a similar way, if we want to store a date time in JSON, as you can see, we have stored it like a string value. We have wrapped it between double quotes. That's because in JSON, we don't have any date data type, but we have a date data type in Bison. So basically the difference between JSON and Bison is Bison looks very similar to JSON data, but it has more data types than JSON. So in simple terms, we can say that Bison is basically a JSON data in binary format. In MongoDB database, this Bison data gets converted to binary form and then it is saved. Okay, so in the database, this Bison data, first it will be converted to its binary format and then it will be saved. So Bison uses binary encoding, which means that data is stored in a compact and efficient format. And this makes it ideal for application that need to store and transmit large amount of data. Bison is generally more performant than JSON, especially for large data sets. And that is because it is more efficient to parse and serialize binary data than text-based data. And since Bison data is saved in the binary format, it is more performant. That means fetching and working with Bison data is faster. Okay, so again, when we are going to pass a JSON object to store it in MongoDB database, first it will be converted to Bison type. That means it will be converted to binary JSON and then it will be stored in MongoDB server. Now, currently, in order to work with MongoDB, we are using Mongo shell. And 
in mongo shell when we want to insert a document in a mongodb collection we use this insert one method and to this insert one method what we are passing we are passing a javascript object so when this insert one method will be executed and when it will pass this javascript object to insert it in the mongodb collection that javascript object also will be first created to bison format as you can see here and then it will be saved in the mongodb collection so here we have a javascript object that javascript object first gets converted to bison format and then it is saved so the bison data for this javascript object will look something like this but when this bison data will be saved it will be saved in binary format okay so if i go to mongodb shell and there let's say i want to insert a new document in this users collection so for that i'm using this insert one method on this users collection and to that insert one method currently i'm passing a javascript object in this javascript object let me go ahead and let me change the values so let's say name is mary age maybe 32 and gender is female okay so here we are passing a javascript object now when we run this command mongodb will transform this javascript object into its bison format and then it will be saved in the mongodb database so if i go ahead and if i press enter you see that document is inserted in the database and we have received this acknowledgement this message it basically tells that the javascript object which we passed was accepted and it was inserted successfully also when we create a new document mongodb creates a new field for each document called underscore id and it assigns it with a unique object id and this underscore id field is created for each document in order to uniquely identify it we can also specify an underscore id field explicitly for a document with some value in that case the underscore id field will be created for that document with the value which we have specified for it so in that case mongodb will not create any underscore id field for that document okay so if i go ahead and if i query the users collection for that i'm going to use this find method if i press enter now you will see that we have received a list we have received an array and in that array we can see three documents this is the latest document which we have inserted with name mary so for that document here we did not specify any underscore id field so for that mongodb implicitly added this underscore id field and assigned it with a unique object id so this object id is going to be different for each document and this is because it allows us to uniquely identify each document in a collection but if we go ahead and if we create a document and there if we specify an underscore id field explicitly so for that here let me go and let me specify underscore id field and let's say the id is 100 okay name let's specify name as test age 32 gender female okay so just for testing purpose i am showing you if i run this command you can see acknowledged is true that means the document has been inserted and for that inserted document what is the underscore id value it is 100 so if we requery this users collection you can see that here we have that document for which we specified this underscore id field explicitly and this underscore id field it is assigned with the same value which we assigned to it so in this case mongodb did not created any underscore id field implicitly we specified this underscore id field and assigned it with some value but when we don't specify this underscore id field that time mongodb creates an underscore id field implicitly and assigns it with a unique object id all right let's go ahead and let's clear mongo shell so basically the takeaway from this lecture is no matter what syntax we use for inserting a document whether we use json object or javascript object that object will be first converted to bison format and then it will be stored in the mongodb database now using bison data format has several advantages which we have already talked about first of all 
Storing and fetching BSON data is efficient and faster because BSON data is stored in binary format, which is more efficient to pass and serialize than text data. Second, BSON also supports additional data types like object ID, regular expressions, date, etc. And BSON also supports multiple data types for number like int32, int64, double, etc. These data types are not supported in JavaScript or JSON. There, we only have one data type for storing numbers and that is the number data type. So, based on the number we are trying to store in MongoDB, its data type will be decided whether it should be int32, int64 or double. Now, you don't need to worry about BSON data too much because when using MongoDB shell or any other MongoDB driver, we are mostly going to use a JavaScript object or some JSON data. We are not directly going to use BSON data format. But you should know that when inserting a document, your document, whether it is a JSON object or JavaScript object, will be stored in BSON format in MongoDB database. And also don't forget that whenever you insert a new document in a MongoDB collection, MongoDB will automatically add an underscore ID field for each document and assign it with a unique object ID. Remember that the value of underscore ID field must be unique. If we try to insert a document in a collection with underscore ID field and a value which already exists for other document, MongoDB will throw an error. Let me actually show you that. So let's go ahead and let's try to insert one more document. And there I'm explicitly going to specify this underscore ID field and I'm going to keep the value for that ID field as 100. Let me go ahead and let me change the name here. So I'll call it test one. Now, if I go ahead and if I try to insert this document, since we already have a document with this underscore ID field where the value is 100, MongoDB will not allow us to insert this document in this user's collection. Let's actually try that. If I press enter, you see here we have Mongo server error. And what does this error say? It says that we have a duplicate key error. It says that this user's collection in this eShopping database already have a document where this underscore ID is 100. And that's why MongoDB did not insert this document in the user's collection because we already have a document with underscore ID field as 100. So we cannot create another document with same underscore ID value. All right, so this is all I wanted to cover in this lecture. From this lecture, I hope now you have a high level overview of what is BSON data format how it is different from JSON data format and why MongoDB prefers to store data in BSON format in a MongoDB database. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.